we're interested in types of inflammation in the body. And we have a particular focus on inflammation in the skin. The lessons that we learn are important for those patients with skin disease, but also important for other related conditions. So one example of that is a condition that we study uh, in detail called atopic dermatitis. It's also known as eczema. This can be linked with problems at other body organs. Some patients can have problems with types of asthma affecting the lungs and others with types of hay fever and others with food allergy and, and other conditions. And the lessons that we learn there we can apply more broadly to, to understand what really what's going on in those conditions and ultimately how we can help patients. We take skin biopsies from patients, so small pieces of, of skin of a few millimetres across, and we isolate the immune cells out of those skin biopsies. And one particular type of immune cell that we're focused on is an immune cell called a T cell. And T cells are normally important in defence against infections. If they're not adequately controlled, they can also contribute to different types of inflammation. So we isolate and extract those T cells out of uh, the skin biopsies, and then we've got a number of different ways in which we can investigate what those T cells are reacting to, why they're in the, in the skin and uh, in increased numbers, and how ultimately we might be able to reduce the activity of those T cells to find new approaches to treatment. Isolating out the T cells, the immune cells, out of that small piece of skin can be really difficult. And isolating the T cells and immune cells out to then have sufficient numbers to do the sort of tests that we, we need to do adds another level of, of challenge. The ad advances over these last years have really helped technically to solve some of those challenges. So we can gain a lot more information now about those T cells, about what they're responding to and what they're producing. But sometimes we find some things, find some new information that, that, that is solid. And that moment of discovery of that, that cornerstone and that research is incredibly exciting and incredibly incredibly rewarding. Our long-term aim is really to uh, understand the, the process of, of different types of skin inflammation with a view to developing new approaches to treatment. And, and yeah, this is progressing very well. So every day there's, there's exciting uh, developments in the lab and we're finding new pieces of information which are starting to build a picture which we can then start to develop new approaches to helping patients. I think it's an exciting place to be. There's a, a general feeling of curiosity, excitement about finding new information, about the discovery process. That's one of the pleasures of, of running a group with a young scientists, young clinicians, seeing them develop, seeing them progress in their careers, and also seeing their excitement about the discoveries that they're making. It's a, it's a very positive and vibrant atmosphere, and we share in the excitement of that, of that discovery process.